Okay, so it's been a while since I've uploaded something. Um, but here we have an AC line. This is the low side AC line. Um, right here is the service port for it behind the thingy. Right here, I have the AC machine hooked up right now. The motor mount goes right here. And the motor mount's been rubbing on that AC line. So I don't know why. Um, it looks like there's a bolt down here that holds those AC lines there. So I don't know why it's been rubbing, um, but it has. I think what I'm gonna do is it's been rubbing here. I might cut this out and clearance it because I don't want to bend the line any more than I have to. Um, and this lady, you know, kind of just wants her AC to work. It doesn't even have like timing belt covers on this car or nothing. So I mean, it's it's pretty beat. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat this line up with uh, just a map gas torch or a propane torch. I'm going to use, it's a blue demon brazing rod. And there's a tiny pinhole there. I'm going to just try to run, you know, some brazing rod here and try to build this up a little bit. Try to repair the line instead of replacing it. So this is something you can do on a lot of AC jobs. Uh, I don't know why more people don't do it. I'll show you how to do it though. Uh, we got some shit under there, might catch fire. Let me get a, let me go get a uh, squirt bottle just in case that catches on fire. Okay, so what I did actually was instead, I just, uh, instead of getting a water bottle and worrying about it catching on fire and then putting it out, um, I just took the insulation off and what I'll do is I'll take zip ties and I'll wrap them around this line because the high side is right underneath it. That's why it has insulation on it. So if these two rub together, you know, you don't have a risk of rubbing a hole in it. So what I'll do is I'll take a couple zip ties and I'll wrap them around this line just in this area. That way it, you know, that zip tie will act as a barrier of insulation between the two lines. Anyway. We're going to get this line pretty hot. It's going to take a minute. Just hold the torch on it. Sometimes this will fail. If it fails, I'm still going to upload it. Because sometimes you can actually blow a bigger hole in this than you want. what you want right here you know what I mean take the heat away a little bit I'm just gonna fill that whole area in a big old bubble now it looks bulky you know what I mean I probably did I did a little too much on it but the objective here is to repair the line and you know if using more brazing rod than you have to is what you have to do then you know just do it all you gotta do is you know all you're doing is patching this hole up and that'll take a minute for that to cure we'll give that a minute to harden up real quick and uh oh i probably hell i should have said always clean that area uh, so i have these stainless steel brushes or you can use copper ones basically i just put them in the drill and i clean that whole area up real good so it's nice and shiny and that'll give the brazing rod something to stick to you know that'll give it a good good spot to stick on so before that thing had an obvious hole in it and it wouldn't hold vacuum for, you know, more than 10 seconds. So let's just come over here. Let's just do a vacuum. And let's just start the vacuum up. We're just going to go to about 20 pounds and then pause it real quick because it was a very obvious leak. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll go to 30 because it's pulling up pretty quick. Pause it. No more leak. See that needle not moving? 
Now I am gonna do a full 10 minute leak test on it. And I will put dye in the system and double check all of this, but uh, that's fixed. So I've done this dozens of times. That's, you know, the, the most effective way, the easiest, cheapest, you know, it was so easy for me because I didn't have to take this whole line off, goes down to the AC, crosses over, under all this to the evaporator core with the expansion valve on it. You know, I didn't have to do any of that. I just took the motor mount off, found where it was rubbing, fixed the hole. That's it. So I'm going to go ahead and charge this lady's AC. I will probably take my cutting wheel and grinder and grind this section out of the motor mount just so it doesn't rub no more. I might try to bend the line a little bit out of the way, put some zip ties on there. And like I said, we'll call it good. Okay, so this is the end result. Um, I put the zip ties on there, again, to space those lines away from each other because I removed the insulation. Um, I went ahead and took the motor mount over there and I just cut that section out, just notched it. That way that line would fit right through there. I've already put it down in there and verified that it is not touching. There's a good eighth inch, quarter of an inch um, between that line and this. So it's been sitting here. Been sitting here for about 20 minutes probably. Holding just under 30 inches of vacuum. So we're gonna call that fixed.